Good morning, children. How are you today? It's been a while that we've had a class, isn't it? First your holidays and your and then your exams. I hope you all of you have done well in your exams. Yes. I'm sure you all did. So now uh, today we're going to start off with a new chapter, new lesson. All right, from the new reader. Till now we were doing your old reader. Now we'll start off with the new reader. And the lesson that we're going to start today is the blind man and the elephant. So the story is about a few blind men and an elephant. So now uh, can you tell me what do you mean by a blind man or a blind person? Hmm? A person who cannot see is called a blind person, right? And how many of you have seen an elephant? Most of us have, haven't we? We've gone to a zoo or maybe uh, your father was posted in a place where you could actually see a wild elephant. Yes? So we've already seen elephants in some way or the other. If not in a person, maybe on the TV. Yes? You all know what an elephant looks like, right? So if you had to tell me how an elephant looks like, what would you say? Some of you might say it, is, it looks it's a huge animal, it looks as big as a mountain, yes? Some would say it has a long trunk, yes? Some would say it has big ears and it flaps its ears like a fan, yes? So, when we uh, try to describe an elephant, each of us will have something different to add to it, isn't it? Okay, so this lesson is something on the similar lines. Alright, let's see what happens in this lesson. Okay. So as usual, I'll uh, read out a paragraph and then explain it to you. Alright, and we'll go paragraph by paragraph. Alright, so the chapter name is The Blind Man and the Elephant. Okay. Once upon a time, a wise man came to your village with his elephant. The elephant's name was Gaju. It was very large and looked like a mountain. So there was this wise man who went to a village along with his elephant. And what was the name of the elephant? Gaju. Okay. It was obviously an elephant. So it was very large and looked as big as a mountain. So it was a very huge animal. Right. Many people came to see and touch him. Gaju was a tame animal, so no one was afraid of him. So elephants are not very common in villages, right? So what happened is many people came to see and touch Gaju. Who is Gaju? Gaju is the elephant, right? And nobody was afraid of Gaju. Why wasn't anybody afraid of Gaju? Because he was a tame animal. What do you mean by a tame animal? He was domesticated. He was gentle and he was domesticated. Right? So, nobody was afraid of him. Everybody wanted to go see him and touch him. Alright? Now, four friends also came to see the elephant. As none of them had seen an elephant before. They were very eager to see one. However, something was very different about the four friends. All of them were blind. Now, like everybody else, there were four friends who went to see Gaju. They had never seen an elephant and they were very eager to go and have a look at an elephant. But there was something very different about these four friends. And what was so different about them? They were all blind. They could not see. But they wanted to see an elephant. They went there to see an elephant. So let's see how they do it. Alright? The first one touched the elephant's leg and said, The elephant is 